Well, hello everybody, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making a video for you out of Boise, Idaho. As you know, I've been working on a 2005 5.4 liter Ford Expedition. It has the 5.4 liter Triton engine. Um, I've worked on a few of these engines. Uh, I've extracted spark plugs out of them now at this point. I'm, I'm very well versed on how to change the spark plugs on them. Uh, I've done timing jobs on them before and other things. This Ford Expedition came in originally needing new spark plugs. One of the spark plugs got, got broke uh, off during the job, which is extremely common. We got it extracted. Three weeks later after the spark plug job, the vehicle started ticking. Uh, I kind of felt like it was going to be a lifter issue, maybe a cam phaser issue. I went out and diagnosed uh, multiple misfires and hard misfires on it, long story short. Uh, I did diagnose uh, some coils that needed to be warrantied out, so we did that, but it, I also kind of felt like at the time it wasn't going to fix, fix the ticking and knocking noise, and of course it didn't, things obviously, I mean while it was here, it, it kind of got a little worse on its own, and there's a video where you can see where I diagnosed the ticking noise to be on the right hand side. Now, I thought it was going to be a lifter or the cam phaser or just the cam phaser or just the lifter. And this morning, I was finally successful in pulling the right hand side, uh, the passenger side valve cover off. And what I found really blew me away. And so now what I need to do is I need to stop and I'm gonna have to communicate with, with my friends, my customers, and see what they wanna do uh, as far as getting this truck repaired. Because there is, at this point, extreme catastrophic failure within the engine. I found it, and it's pretty bad. So let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, I've got both sides off, all right? I've got the left side off, and I've got the right side off. Now, I'm going to crawl in here inside of this engine very carefully. Okay, and here's, here's the left side, and it's nice and clean and beautiful, and everything else, and when I pulled the valve cover off, everything actually looked pretty decent. Now here's the right side, and as I pulled the valve cover off, the first thing I noticed, I was out of place. Yeah, where's it at? There it is, right there. I saw that spring sitting there, and my mouth hit the floor, I'll tell you, because that right there is what the heck's been ticking. So, I haven't pulled anything out yet, and as a matter of fact, while I've got you here with me, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling stuff out. So what we have here is we have a catastrophic internal engine failure, we've got a failed valve spring, and we've got a lifter, a valve, and a rocker roller that have basically grenaded inside of this engine. So. There's your valve spring. That's obviously not supposed to be like that. Set that there. Okay, now you can look down inside of there and you can see the valve stem has been all beat up. It looks like it's got acne. And also look at our, look at our camshaft. Our camshaft lobe is completely beat up and it's rough and it's ate up as well. And I don't see, oh wait. Well, there's your rock and roller down inside of there. I'm gonna move again to see if I can get a better position. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some tools and extract this out. Oh, wait, wait. Yep. Uh, okay. Boy, that is just all tore up. And now we're still missing some pieces here. 
Oh, look at this. There's a washer that's caught. Hey, there's a washer that's caught and another valve spring there. Let's see. Oh, here's the piece. There's a piece there. So, this is not necessarily good. I'd like to get this washer out of here that's down inside of here. It's loose, but it's like, it's like it's caught on something. So there you go, folks. That's what I found inside of this engine as to the mean catastrophic failure. It was a lifter. And what happens is, I think with, with, with the history behind this, with it starting to tick, and I bet you the tension, these springs, they'll lose their tension, okay? And when this spring starts to lose its tension, it'll allow this valve to float. And when it starts floating is when it starts ticking. And after a while, the way this is set up here, um, after a while, after it floats, you know, I don't know how long it takes. Could take a day, could take a year. It, that I can't answer. But after it floats for a while, it eventually grenades itself. It'll float itself right off of there. And uh, once it does that, well, then obviously you have what happened inside of this engine. So the repair for this is no longer a uh, valve. It's the, the, the full valve train now needs to be serviced. And at the least, this camshaft has to be replaced. This valve is going to need to be replaced, as well as the spring and your rocker roller that you got going on here. That's all going to have to be replaced. And in order for that to happen, this cylinder head has to come off of here. And getting the cylinder head off of this engine, as you can see with the space that is here, it's not a fun job at all. Um, as a matter of fact, the last time I did one was years ago in a professional shop. And in order to do so, we ended up having to remove the whole front end of the engine so we could get in here to pull the cylinder head off accordingly. So uh, it will definitely add a significant amount of labor to the job. And like I said, uh, in order for this to be repaired, at the least, we need to replace that camshaft and that valve and the pieces that, that go with it. So there you go, folks. Uh, don't ignore the ticking noises in your Ford 5.4 liter Triton. And, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble by saying this by Ford, but don't ever buy a 5.4 liter Triton engine. Just don't do it. I've had too many people in my time and experience since 2005 come to me with major problems with these engines and it all starts in between 80 to 120,000 miles and I, I don't think there's very many people that would disagree with me when I say this is a very problematic engine and uh, they just need to they need to take it off the market man so all right folks well this is Matthew your friendly neighborhood technician I'll definitely let you know what the outcome of this job will be thank you for watching and supporting me I am signing off.